How's it going guys? So today we are actually going to be building a budget PC for about 400 Australian dollars which converts to on average about just under 300 USD. Nearly every single part in this build is going to be second hand and they are just perfect price um, for performance parts. So with that, with that in mind, let's just jump straight into the um, video of building the PC and in the next video I will probably post benchmarks of how well this PC runs. So this is where we're going to um, start by installing the CPU cooler to uh, the motherboard. So what we do here guys is we grab each of the four screws, screw them into the back plate that we've just placed underneath the motherboard and tighten them as much as we can so this cooler does not come loose and screw with our entire um, CPU. So here guys, this is where we are going to install the CPU. So flick up the latch, just like that. Notice how um, the CPU has a little bit of a dot on one side of the CPU mount. And then it has a dot on the CPU itself. So you're going to line both them up together when you stick in the CPU. Make sure it's secured firmly by shaking it a little bit like that. Place the latch back down and then close it back up. It will be a bit tight, don't fear that. That just means you secured it properly. So here we're going to install both our 4 gig Kingston uh, RAM. Make sure both the pins are flicked for your RAM and they secure them firmly. They only go in the one way, so make sure you're lining them up correctly or you will damage both, uh, both or one or the other of the motherboard or the RAM. Next, we'll be installing our Arctic MX2 onto the CPU itself. Make sure you only place just a bit more than a grain of rice on top of the CPU. Next we'll be installing our cooler straight onto the CPU, but you require two hands for this, so I'll be right back. Now that we've got the CPU cooler on top of the motherboard, make sure you screw it down as hard as you can or it's just gonna slide everywhere. This is probably one of the easiest CPU coolers to install so I would highly recommend grabbing one of these. It really keeps the CPU under that 60 degrees and it's great for um, anyone who's looking to overclock their CPUs. We're probably not gonna do that today on this um, CPU but it is there if we choose to in the future.
Now that we've put aside the motherboard, we'll pick up our case and try and install our PSU right into the corner of the case. Make sure it is the right way around with the fan facing the bottom, or you may run into a bit of trouble later. Next we're going to place the motherboard into the case and screw it down um, securely so it doesn't slide around our case. These screws can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver like I don't, but we got there in the end and it hasn't moved around for me yet. Next we've got to install the CPU cooler to the top of the case itself. So it's actually uh, spinning freely. And that was the most, oh, oh that was the only open spot I actually had on my case left, which was on top next to the inbuilt tower case stand there, right next to it. Next you grab all your front of case connectors and you have to place, plug them all into the motherboard separately. This is different on every motherboard so make sure you check yours out online. For a quick tidy up, make sure you secure all your uh, cables that are loose with a nice cable tie. Next, make sure your starter cables are plugged directly into the motherboard so that your hard drives will get data to them. Lastly is to install the GPU. Ours is the big blue slot on our motherboard. Make sure it's securely firmed and locks in place and then screw the GPU into the case itself so it doesn't rattle around. After that make sure you plug in your power supply slots into the GPU itself. Some power supplies do not have these cords so be wary of that. No stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up in a bar Wish on a star Time to show them who's in charge Call me a shooting star guys there you have it make sure you like and comment down below if you'd like to see a benchmarks video of this 300 usd pc that i've built out of new and used parts and will probably out benchmark a lot of um people's pcs from about two or three years ago maybe even be on the verge of actually topping some pcs today that's how good this PC will perform. If you guys really do want to see that uh, benchmark video, I will make one. If you comment in the section below, tell me what, what games you'd like to see me benchmark on it. And if I have them, I will definitely do them. So keep that in mind, guys. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. And it really does help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in one of my streams or the next video.